Good morning YouTube. So um, we're on week bazillion and two of the lockdown. Um, still very little to do. I'm uh, finding little jobs to keep myself occupied. Today I decided to um, take the wraps off this little beauty and take it outside, get rid of that thing on the drive and um, yeah just see if it'll strike up and uh, sort itself out. So yes under here is obviously the Ninja, the ZX9R. Uh, featured on my channel quite a few times before um, it hasn't been started for oh god knows uh, last video I did um, was uh, first started in about six months but I don't think it's been started in three months probably I don't know can't remember now but anyway it's time to uh, to weird it out the garage and uh, strike it up make sure everything's okay now just a little bit of um, advice for anybody that's got these this has got a meta alarm on it and they do drain the battery over time and I've also got a video showing about the uh, the battery issues I had recently but what I've got on this one um, and anybody that wants to do this basically just a couple of wires that come off the battery itself and go into one of these clips now you can buy specialized battery units that you can uh, fit to these but this one does fine for me uh, it's a couple of um, three mil wires something like that but goes into an RC plug um, you can buy these readily off the internet you can get 10 for a couple of quid there they are dirt cheap and um, basically that goes into um, a cheap and nasty uh, trickle charger that I think I got off um, Lidl or somewhere like that you don't need much um, it just basically keeps the charge in the battery um, <laughs> or so he says let's hope that is the case but uh, it's showing it's fully charged at the moment it's showing it's green but uh, yeah basically uh, I used to fly RC many, many moons ago before the government changed all the rules. They, uh, they're still sitting there. A couple have been broken down, but there's still a couple there. But they're basically these. And uh, all you do is just set them out. You've got, you've got these basically that plug into each other, like that there. So they slot into each other like normal pins. Uh, just solder them in the end there. Slam them inside and you've got a male and a female obviously and they clip together. So there you go, little top tip today. Don't go spend the money on uh, on all these different charging units. All you need is some RC stuff. It's dirt cheap and you can buy from Japan. That's my solution anyway. Right, let's wheel this out and let's see if it'll start up for me. Fingers crossed. Old school. And do this with a key. Crazy. Bloody mess of that. Old cars and oil. <sighs> God. Have to get my brick and patio cleaner out. Okay, she is out. Right, one criticism I got last time when I started up after six months was um, I pumped the throttle um, like this. Now there's a good reason behind that. This is a carb model, carburetors. It doesn't have fuel injection. A fuel injection bike will build up the pressure on the fuel side and will inject the fuel into the engine, basically. That's what injection does. This one, being a carb, um, as you leave it for a while and uh, the petrol starts to dry out and furs up and that's what blocks your carbs up. Another video I did recently as well. Um, basically what happens is there is no fuel in the system. So you have to uh, give it a couple of clips like that and it just promotes a little bit of fuel into the system. That's all it does. It's not flooding the engine. It's not messing about. It's not trying to make it look more dramatic than it is. It's just basically getting it prepared. So choke on 
on full. Alarm off, like so. First click. Okay, the battery looks good, which is a good start. Right, let's see how she goes. No throttle, just press the button. I've got to say folks, that was a massive surprise. Um, yeah, a massive surprise. Wow. Did not expect that. Not expect that at all. Um, so obviously last time I, um, I think I posted a video on this, I sorted the carbs out, then we good clear there. Um, got some of the carb cleaner going through them. Um, obviously that's done that's done wonders. Uh, another video was actually cleaning up the spark plugs and getting those recaps. So obviously all these efforts I've made have, um, have helped. There you go, she's running. She runs sweet. Correct. Nice and clean. Well, the bike is in pretty cool. No nasty rattles or bangs, although the camera's going to pick up every single noise it makes and make it sound ten times worse. There you go. She's alive. Anything I've got to do now is get out on it, but as we're in lockdown at the moment, it ain't going to happen. But I might have a sneaky ride around the cul-de-sac, who knows. Excellent. Like I say, we weren't expecting that. I'm very, very happily pleased. Good stuff. Sounds sweet. start to rain as well. <laughs> uh, that's what happens when you bring a bike out. <laughs> there you go, a little bit of induction noise for you. And there you go, back home again. I was going to give it a clean but it's only a bit of dust. And to be honest, I'd rather give it a good clean and then go out for a ride on it. <laughs> but it uh, ain't going to happen at the moment. Yeah, you've got to obey the rules. We're on lockdown. Simple as. Um, so it just remains now to uh, put the charger back on. So, uh, let's just see if I can capture this with one hand. I'll try to plug it together. It's not going to happen, is it? Let me, let me rest my camera there. Basically, just, you can't get the wrong way around. It's impossible. Plug it in. Like that, there you go, and then oops, click that for the charge. Jobs are good, so that'll sit there now on trickle charge. And uh, seat goes in there like that, and the covers will go back on. Bit sad, really, but hey, at least it started well. I'm very impressed with that, very, very impressed. All the good work I did last year, paying dividends now. Just need to ride it. Okay guys, catch you later. Even give the driveway a bit of a clean up. It's a bit better. Yeah, good stuff this. Need to get some more. High strength. Nice. Now I gotta ride or die.